there all you cool cats and kittens. It is a rainy, gross Wednesday night here in Nashville. Now, normally under normal circumstances on a Wednesday night, uh, be meeting up with the family at Cracker Barrel for some good old Southern style fixings and dinner. Uh, unfortunately, we're not doing that type of stuff right now. So we're at home as we usually are. Of course, on a rainy night like tonight, it's not the best night to get out anyway. However, my wife has come up with a solution to give us a little bit of a, a taste, if you will, of the Cracker Barrel that we normally have. She's preparing broccoli cheddar chicken for dinner tonight, one of uh, Cracker Barrel's weekly specials. It's typically the Wednesday night special, which is when we're usually there, but we're here tonight, so we're going to try to have it here. Full disclosure, she's tried this before and it turned out pretty good, but she's made some adjustments, tweaked some things, so I think it's going to be extra good tonight. Um, I'll actually put the, the link to the copycat recipe she kind of based it off of in the description down below. So if you want to follow along and try it yourself, you'll have that as kind of your baseline to go from, but that'll kind of help you out. So if you're missing some of your favorite home cooked meals or some of your favorite restaurant meals, you can give it a shot like we did to try to cook them at home. Uh, I'm going to keep playing video games though while she does all the hard stuff. So we'll be with her shortly. You can go. We're, we're not going to cook quite yet. I'm just going to be playing video games. Okay. You're still here, Oli. What do you got going over here? I'm making broccoli cheddar chicken. All right, Jessica, tell us what you're doing here to start off working on the chicken. Well, you have to thaw the chicken, and then you have to put it between two pieces of saran wrap, and you have to flatten it out. Now, if you're using fresh chicken, do you have to thaw it out still? No. Just asking, we need to make sure people know what they're doing at home. Now, if you're using frozen chicken like us, a good way to quickly get your chicken thawed, throw it in the sink with some warm water and just let it sit. Make sure you clean out your sink really good after you do this, because you don't want raw chicken particles and other gross stuff chilling around in there. Is this some kind of secret family seasoning you're hitting this chicken with? No, it's salt and pepper. All right, salt and pepper. Good to know. All right, so Jessica has instructed me Take out the broccoli, put it in the microwave, and follow directions. Let's see if I can do that. Do you know what the wattage on our microwave is? in no time. All right, so now we've got the chicken prepped. What's coming up next? Okay, now we gotta make the cheese sauce. So we use Campbell's cheddar cheese soup.
we are going to do a little less than half of a can of half and half. messes I'm making. And then just mix it up. Okay, so you take your broccoli out of the microwave, out of its little steamer bag. You want to put it on a paper towel because it's wet. And you want to do this because the last time I made it, it got a little runny from the water with the broccoli. So I'm just going to kind of let it dry off a little bit. Now, if you've already run out of paper towels and toilet paper, it's probably a step you can skip. But we've been lucky enough to have a little bit still in stock. See all that water that came off of it? That would be in your chicken if you just poured it out there like I did last time. So now it's super hot and it hooks my fingers. So get a spoon for it. You can take a ladle. You can take about half of this and put it on the chicken. Oh, and we were also preheating the oven to 350. We skipped that step before. And now this recipe makes four chickens. So make sure you adjust depending upon how many chickens you have. So I like to cover it like completely as much as I can. And then you're gonna take your broccolis. It's super hot. Just kinda You're super hot. Shut up, Matt. Just put that on there. You're not gonna use all of the broccolis, so don't feel like you have to. Or if you really want to, you can use all the broccolis. But are you gonna throw them away if you don't use them? That's what I did last time. Oh my gosh, in a time like this you cannot be wasteful, Jess. Well, this broccoli was actually way better than the last one you got me. The last one didn't have like a lot of the fluffy parts. It only had like, had like two fluffy parts and mostly like these parts. And it was just bootleg broccoli. So I used as much as I could. So we're actually gonna use most of it because it's not all shabby broccoli. So, okay. So now that that's done, you take the other half of your cheese sauce and pour it on top. You don't want to waste any cheese because the shiz is delicious. Okay, now for the topping, you take about a little more than like half a sleeve of Ritz crackers and you put them in a little Ziploc bag. You take a little hammer. Take 
take them and cover the top for your crunchies. And another way you can actually do this too, um, if you like it like extra buttery, um, is you can take these and take like maybe like a half a stick of butter, like melted butter, mix them up, make them a little extra buttery. And then you throw them in the oven for 45 minutes. And we wait. Is it ready? No. But I'm hungry now. You should have asked for dinner 45 minutes ago. And now we have the final product. Looks just like what you would get in the restaurant. You need to let it set for about two minutes. We need to let it set for about two minutes. Jessica has also prepared two traditional Cracker Barrel sides that are usually her choices, carrots, and corn. But she did not disclose the recipes for how she prepared those. Those are secret Fox family recipes that she is not willing to reveal on this channel. But you can check her channel, The Fox Den. And here is our dinner plated up and ready to go. Can't wait to see how this tastes. Cracker Barrel style broccoli cheddar chicken at home. Bon appetit. Mmm, wow. That's good. It really does taste like just like exactly what you get in the restaurant. Jess knocked it out of the park on this one. She gets five stars. Five stars for Jessica on this one. Good job, Jess. Mm, I'll have some more. Dinner is wrapped up. I am stuffed from that delicious home cooked Cracker Barrel meal. Uh, before we wrap up and go to bed, I wanted to send you home with a recommendation as always. Uh, there is a great documentary series that you can find on vicetv.com called Dark Side of the Ring. If you're into professional wrestling, which let's be honest, who isn't? It's a great series that documents some of the craziest events and craziest characters in professional wrestling history. Uh, they've got about two and a half seasons up for you to view right now. So next time you're bored and can't figure out what to watch next, I urge you to check out Dark Side of the Ring. That's going to be all for us tonight. I'm going to go hit the hay and sleep off that delicious meal I ate. Thanks to Jessica for cooking it. Thanks to you all for watching her cook it and then watching me eat it. I only have a few more requests. As always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell so you get all the notifications. Like this video. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see me or Jessica cook or eat next, put them in the comments down below. We'll try some new things, have some fun, and you can come along for the ride with us. Don't stand so close to me. Good night. Welcome to the first ever Mad About post credit scene. Unfortunately, this scene does not tease any future episodes or major reveals. I just had to let my dog out in the middle of the night after we had some pretty severe storms roll through. Uh, a little bit of lingering rain and thunder and lightning out here, and I figured if I'm going to risk my life to let this dog go to the bathroom, I might as well get some footage while I'm out here. This is things I do for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the dog.
Okay, on that note, it does seem like a good time to go back inside.